Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andrew De Cruz. Uh, I live in Melbourne and I just thought I'd make you uh, a very quick version of the Kesari. This is the North Indian version that I learned. Um, so I'm, I've used this cup measure, it's one cup. So all you need is one cup of semolina or uh, rava, one cup of sugar, uh, just disregard the color, that is raw sugar, but in India we get both the types. Uh, that's two tablespoons of ghee, uh, five cardamom pods, crushed, and a couple of um, cashew nuts. This are, these are pre-toasted, and I'm just gonna refry them again, but if you don't want to, you don't, you don't need to, but these are toasted already. To cook this, you need three portions of uh, water to cook the semolina. So here we go. To start with making the kesari, you've got to have three cups of water with a pinch of kesari powder, one cup of sugar like I mentioned before and the cardamom pods that have been crushed. This you got to let it boil and for the sugar to melt. Now this is basically your base for the whole kesari. When you find the sugar melting, turn it down to low flame and let it let it simmer. The second stage will be take a, a pan. You got to put in two tablespoons of ghee, which I've already prepared and kept aside, and the semolina that basically needs to be toasted. So you can see that's a semolina. That's one cup. You got to toast it until it changes color. So right now you can see it as uh, white. But after you toast it, it will turn light brown. When that stage arrives, we will pour the syrup and cook it until it's complete. So all I'm doing right now is the ghee is melting. Simultaneously, I'm trying to toss the rava or the uh, semolina. So there's an even spread of uh, the ghee and the rava. Now it might show a little bit, one cup, but this will swell because you're toasting it already and once the liquid goes in, it will double the quantity. Now what's happening here, is that the sugar is me almost melting and it's coming to a boil. I can see at the bottom there's the sugar to that side. I'll wait for that to melt and then turn it down to sim and let it simmer. This by the time will be toasted. So what has happened now, the quantity has doubled as I mentioned before and now is the right time that we basically pour the syrup into it. It's basically just water and sugar like I mentioned before. So don't burn yourself, pour it in gently. And let it cook. Keep stirring. So let this cook until all the water evaporates and the, and the semolina is cooked and then I'll get back to you. So now the water is evaporated, the semolina is cooked and the, the how you look at it is when uh, the kesari starts leaving the side of the bowl and there's no water in the center. So that's how you check to see if that's cooked. And now it's almost ready to eat, add your cashew nuts, give it a good stir and there we are ready to eat. Bon appetit everyone. So here we are, the kesari is ready and it's waiting to be tasted. Bon appetit everyone.